Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to show how to use the Scatter Desktop application to vote for Telos block producers. So first off, you need to be in connected to your Scatter Desktop application in, in order to use it. And as with anything Scatter, you will need a third party website to connect Scatter to. And for this example, I'm going to be using telos.eosx.io and this will be linked in the description. Now in order to vote for block producers, we need to come over to the wallet section. And once you click wallet section, simply come to vote and proxy. And up at the top, a scatter account is required. You click the attach scatter identity button. And your scatter pop up will appear. Telos.eosx.io link application. Yes, I want to link application. And there we go. Now my Telos Genesis block account is attached. And it shows you your available funds, your RAM, your CPU, and your net up at the top. Now, in order to vote, we are already on the vote tab. Select the block producers you would like to vote for. And once you select up to 30 block producers, you simply click vote at the top. And another scatter pop-up will appear. And there we go, scatter popped up. And in the pop-up it shows you what block producers you're voting for and which account is voting. Once you verify that, simply click allow. Transaction complete. We have now voted for our block producers using scatter. Now using scatter and telos.eosx.io, you can also vote by proxy, which I will be doing for this account. And voting by proxy, you do not have to go through the vote section and pick your own block producers. You can simply vote by proxy. And on this page, they do have a list of proxies that have registered and filled out all their information. You can simply go through and click one if you like. And if the proxy you want is not on there yet, uh, the proxy I'm going to use, the proxy I set up, it, I haven't filled out all this information yet, so it's not on this current proxy list. So you either come here, select a proxy you want, or type in the name of the proxy up here in this box. I'm going to be using my proxy, HODL Telos Pro. And anyone's free to use this proxy. All a proxy does is say to the blockchain, I want my votes cast the same way that the proxy account voted. So I'm going to vote via proxy HODL Telos Pro. Simply click vote by proxy. And then a scatter pop-up will appear again in order for you to sign and confirm the transaction. And here we go, voting through proxy HODL Telos Pro, voting for this account, yes, click allow. Transaction complete, there you go. Now my account's votes are being voted through the HODL Telos Pro proxy. So there you go guys, there's a quick tutorial on how to vote for Telos block producers using Scatter. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, drop a like on the video. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, click on that notification bell. Got more Telos videos coming out, including how to claim your free Telos account. So if you want to set up a custom name Telos account for free, that will be coming out shortly once that option is available. So that's going to do it for me for this one guys, I'll see you in the next one.